Welcome to Absolute Accuracy Outdoors. Thank you guys for tuning in. I have a little bit of an interesting video for you guys today. I'm excited about it. I've been waiting to do this video for quite some time now. So I've been able to get my hands on some polycarbonate. Uh, this stuff is pretty expensive. It's not really that cheap. So what I have here is six pieces of polycarbonate, each of them measuring three eighths of an inch thick, overall thickness of two and a quarter inches. And we're gonna see how much penetration this has with four different calibers. We're gonna shoot this with a 22 long rifle, 22 Magnum, 6.5 Creedmoor, and a 300 Remington Ultra Mag, a 220 grain bullet. So I'm just curious to see how bulletproof or bullet resistant this polycarbonate is and what type of penetration we get on this with the different calibers. Don't go anywhere. Smash that like button and subscribe to this channel if you ain't subscribed. I'm excited for this. Let's do it. Let's get set up and see what happens. Okay, so we're set up here at 60 yards. We got the 22 up here first. This is a Ruger 1022 compact. Both we're shooting out of this today are the 40 grain CCI target. Uh, so we're looking for penetration today, so we're not going to be using a hollow point. I got our loader up. Let's tape it a shot. Alright, so moving on up the line, we have a 22 Magnum. Ammunition is from Winchester. This is a 40 grain jacketed soft point. Go ahead and get this loaded up and give it a shot. Alright, getting into some real firepower now. We got the 6.5 Creedmoor. This is the Begara. Projectile we're using is from Fort Scott Munitions. This is their tumble upon impact. This one will be interesting. Let's get her loaded up, see what happens. I apologize for the shakiness. I lost my tripod, or I broke it actually. So, I'm doing this all freehand. Put my hearing protection on. Okay guys, we've made it up here to the 300 Remington Ultra Mag. The bullet reason today is a 220 grain ELDX from Hornady. This is from their Precision Hunter line of projectiles. This is a 220 grain ELDX leaving the muzzle at just over 2,900 feet per second. And this is gonna be hitting that target down there with over 4,000 foot pounds of energy. So let's get her loaded up and take a shot. Okay guys, we're back here with the results. We've hit this with all four calibers, 22, 22 Magnum, 6.5 Creedmoor, and the 300 Remington Ultra Mag. So taking a look from the back, um, it looks like only the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 300 Rum have made it all the way through. There's two and a quarter inches of Lexan. We'll go ahead and peel these apart one by one. So that was a 22. It bulged the back. It did not penetrate all the way through. It bulged the back about an eighth of an inch. 
as you can see it went in there and then came out obviously I couldn't find the bullet but it did not pass through so 22 did not make it through 3 8 inch of like sand 22 Magnum it did pass through uh, it passed right through there oops here we are 22 Magnum did pass through the first one but it did stop in the back as it started to enter the second one and it just made a dent in the second one and it protruded just ever so slightly out the back. I got about a sixteenth of, of a protrusion right there, where it started to bubble out right there. Moving up to 6.5, it obviously went through the first two, went through the third one, came through, went to the fourth one. As you can see in the fourth one, it started to, that 6.5 Creedmoor is that tumble upon impact bullet, started to curl over the tip of the bullet, started to curl over as it's designed to do to make it tumble. And you can see it displayed there. So it went through there. Number four went through number five. And number six. And then as well as through the 300 rum, it obviously went through all of them. So, and then it also, there is a eight by eight piece of wood behind this. And that, that 300 Remington Ultra Mag penetrated that, uh, got a good four inches. So we got good penetration on that. The 6.5 passed right through, obviously. So as far as bulletproof or bullet resistance with this stuff, um, 22, I'd feel safe um, with an inch, um, or three quarters of an inch, I'd say. And a 22 Magnum, I'd feel safe with three quarters of an inch of this stuff. But as far as the 6.5 and the 300 gram, uh, not a chance. It's gonna, it's gonna just smoke right through there like butter. So yeah, I might do a later video of uh, some thicker, a little bit thicker Lexan and uh, see what it'll take to stop a 6.5 or a 300 rum. So this is my test on some Lexan and see how bulletproof it is. Thanks for watching guys.